Hey guys, today's the day. It's time for COVID shot number two. I didn't really have much in the way of reaction after the first COVID shot. Um, my arm was a little sore, but really for maybe a day and barely sore at all. And I was fatigued, but I'm always fatigued. That's kind of my permanent state of being. So I don't really know that that was necessarily the vaccine. Overall, I really felt fine. Um, I've seen in some places that they say that the second shot sometimes gives you more symptoms. I actually kind of hope I get symptoms because if I get symptoms, I'll know that it's actually working on me because it's a big question whether the vaccine's even gonna do anything since I'm immunosuppressed and my body can't really mount an immune response and isn't supposed to mount an immune response in general because we don't want it to wipe out my lungs. But in this case, that means it, I can't really like mount an immune response and produce antibodies in response to the vaccine, which is bad because then the vaccine doesn't work. So if I get like side effects and symptoms, that'll tell me that my immune system is working and producing antibodies and that the vaccine is actually doing something. So weirdly, I kind of hope that I feel end up feeling awful so that I know that it's working. But here we go, shot number two. All right, I'm all done, all shot up, got my card. I am officially fully vaccinated. I mean, I guess technically Congrats. I'm not fully vaccinated for like another two weeks until it like finishes kicking in. And then even then I'm not going to be fully vaccinated because I'm immunosuppressed and it's not going to work on me. But you got better than nothing. It's better than it's, not getting vaccinated. It's so. true. It's better than nothing. And now I have to see how the next few days go and if I get any symptoms. Right. We need to see what color your tail is going to be and you know, right. things like And how that. my 5G reception is. Right. Exactly. Yeah. These are the kind of things you want to test out after you get vaccinated. Um, I guess at least I have my card, if nothing else. I gotta like laminate this and keep this for like proof purposes so I can like It's true, yeah. You go to laminate. events or functions or whatever in That's the future. That's a good idea, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do with mine, laminate it. And your shot is in two weeks? Next. Is it next week or two weeks? What's no, next? next week, I think. Yeah, I think I'm next week. So we are almost a fully vaccinated family. Yeah, it's awesome. Feels good, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the official word from Catherine. Feels good, man. So that's what's going on. And now we'll see how I do with side effects. Congratulations. All right, it's been about a week and a half since I got my vaccine. I really didn't have much in the way of side effects. My arm was a little sore, a little more sore than the first time. And I was fatigued, but I'm always fatigued. So I don't really know that that was a vaccine symptom or if that was just, you know, my life. So I don't actually know if it did anything. I am going to be getting antibody testing so we can check and see whether or not I have antibodies. So here's hoping that the vaccine actually did something for my immunosuppressed self. But today's excitement is that right now I am sitting outside of the vaccine mega site waiting for Catherine because she is in there getting shot number two. And she's back and she got swag. I'm super jealous. <laughs> I couldn't even get a freaking sticker. I got a mask and a sticker. Wow. wow. Here, let's, show, <laughs> let's see your, uh, your mask. It's all advertising. Let's see your sticker. Man. I even asked when I got my second shot. I was like, could I get a sticker? And she was oh, like, yeah. she was like, I'm sorry, we don't have any. It was like lame. I I made a point to ask for my mask. I was like, yeah, I heard you heard you can get mask here. She's like, oh yeah, we give you a mask. So she's got all the COVID vaccine swag. I and do, I got yeah. nothing. But we both got our shots at least, so there's that. That's true, yeah. Yep. She did pretty well after the first shot. You, I think, had more more 
reaction than I did. Like, yeah. you were all, like, run down I was stuff. a little bit run down, but nothing too serious. But I definitely could tell that I had something, like... But then things took a turn for the weird, like, two weeks after the shot. Yeah, that's right. The tail started sprouting. That's, yeah. The purple tail. That, I forgot about that. That was a little bit weird. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, two weeks after the shot, all of a sudden she got a rash on her arm at the injection site, which was super confusing because it was literally two weeks later. But then a little Google research showed that apparently that's a thing. Right, that it's a thing, sometime. yeah. And it was there for a couple of days and then it went away. Mm -hmm. So probably that was just like her microchip activating and now it's you know exactly. like running smoothly. I get great 5G reception now <laughs> in my, my left arm. <laughs> so that's it. We got we both got our shots. We're both all vaccinated up. Although pretty sure one shot is gonna work a lot better than the other. We'll find out for sure for me when I get my antibody testing. Although even then it's still not for sure. It'll tell me if I have antibodies or not but they do think that the vaccine promotes other immune responses that you know don't show up on the antibody test which is mm -hmm. why they wanted us to get it because even though i'm immunosuppressed they still think that i could have like other immune responses beyond just the antibodies and that it'll do something um it's definitely not going to be like 95 percent effective but i guess we're going on the something is better than nothing you know because Getting COVID is really dangerous for transplant recipients, you know, people who are immunosuppressed. And they found that, aside from the fact that you can just have really serious illness and maybe die, which, you know, been there, done that, don't want to do it again. Yeah, you've come close already. Right? Yeah. Already did the almost suffocating to death thing once. Not really eager to try it again. Well, wasn't, wasn't really fun. Well. Would not recommend. Zero out of ten. Um, but aside from that, they're finding that people recovering from COVID, transplant recipients recovering from COVID, a lot of them are going into chronic rejection, um, presumably because, you know, the immune system, like, jumps into response, you know, reacting to the virus, and then once it's, like, all active, it kind of looks at whatever your transplanted organ is and is like, that doesn't belong here, let's just get rid of that. Mm. So... Even if it only has a little bit of protection for me, something is better than nothing. And maybe I'll be one of the ones who actually has a decent antibody response. I wasn't really feeling very confident because I didn't really have much in the way of side effects. So I was like, oh great, it's doing nothing. It's like, it's like, like I got a, like a placebo or something. Um, but then my mom said that she also did not have much in the way of response oh, and she, she actually has a functional immune system. So maybe it's just a family thing to not react. Right. Some people vaccine. don't have like reactions, you know, so maybe you're one of those people. Here's hoping. So that's it for now for our vaccine adventure. See you next time.